Hello everyone and good evening. I hope everyone is doing great. So let's discuss another interview questions today. Okay. So one of the very important questions and I usually very often ask about the rejection scenario. Okay. So we know still the PEGA core part is the case management. So how you will be handling that the rejection scenario. And I have seen right many people or like even the many experienced people also struggle to answer this in a proper way. Okay, so how we can handle that? So let's first discuss about the the question. So let's say you're creating a case for so most of the times so like the first two, two stages. So create a stage and let, let's say you have like uh, let's take an example of the loan application. So you have a loan applications where you're creating the case. So in create a stage, you'll be filling the very minimal details and then you're going with uh, and reaching the details. So next a screen can be the loan details. Okay, so you created the case. Okay, and then you fill the entire loan details okay you attach the document and other things and now you send for that approval now my question here is okay that what if approver is rejecting okay so if approver is rejecting you have to send the case back to the same person who had created that that request so i have seen that many people struggle like as i'm saying right many experienced people also struggle to answer this so how you can answer this okay so the first things you need to do is you need to configure the initial right like how you can like do the configure the routing for the create stage and then when you're enriching that loan details because when you're coming back for the next time you don't want a new assignment okay so what you can do is you can configure you should not configure the current operator by default okay the if you create like if you drag assignment shape you'll see that the pega is giving an options with the current user but if you do with the current user so let's take an example that the first create a stage and then loan details stage okay you have configured that the assignment with the current of user okay now at the approval stage okay so after filling that loan details is going for approval so when the approver is rejecting the case uh, if you do the current user then it will get rejected and it will assign back to him all but we don't want that okay so what you need to do okay where just the creator is taking actions okay you can choose the to the work list the routing will be to the work list and you should select the attribute okay. px create operator so here the routing will be px create operator based on the operator basically the value will come from the operator sort it so the first two stage you should always configure the create operator because when you want on the rejections it should come back to the same person let's say how uh, so first time okay so what i do here i kind of uh, make little bit the scenario complex the first time it is going to walk queue. okay so let's say it's going to a manager walk queue. okay and as a manager i pick that case using get next work or i did the cherry picking okay now when i'm rejecting back okay the second time when the initiator is submitting or when the creator is submitting i want the case to go back to the same person who has created the request instead of sending to the work queue. so how we can achieve this so the first thing is definitely we need here is that we need to do a change stage okay so we need to like when the the approver is approving for the first time we need to have the decision shape okay that approve and reject okay based on their actions what you're doing approve and reject we can configure an alternate alternate stage if you want to notify to creator you can go to the alternate stage and then you can go to the loan details stage okay because you cannot go to the create stage okay pega will not allow to jump to create a stage here you can go directly also go to the loan details but if you want to handle some emails something else okay then you can go to let's say exception stage okay rejection stage and then from rejections you can go back to the loan stage so you need to have that decision safe okay on the approve reject flow and then based on that you can go change the stage okay now when you're going next time as i'm saying that you don't want that go back to the same assignment right like the walk you so this time i want you to send to the the work queue sorry the work list of the persons who has rejected the case so here i have seen seen that many people fail to answer or provide a correct design here so there some people will say okay i'll have a, uh, i'll have a property where i'll hold that okay who had worked on it okay so that's a that you can achieve in that way but that's not a good design okay so what you can do here is when you are rejecting it so here you should leverage the work party feature okay so you should leverage the work party features in the beginning as well that who is creating the case so that can be the owner okay whoever is creating the case and then when he is rejecting the case right when he is rejecting the case you can uh, 
like uh, the approver okay you can hold his also details under the work party okay so when you are routing the next time you can route it to two work party okay so maybe uh, how you can you can have a decision shape so you can you can like achieve within the one assignment also but if you achieve within the one assignment at approval stage okay that you want to route it to the work list or the work queue okay it's the first time or it's it's the it's coming after rejections okay so you can have it with the one assignments you can go with the two assignments as well so you can have a check that you want, this is the first time or like it's already been rejected okay so now you can ask the question that how i'll get to know that it's coming for the first time or it's uh, it's already been rejected so again here also you can use the work party okay so you can say that okay if the work party approver okay approver work party is already there that means someone has already acted on in this case okay so then you can go to the work list okay and you can get that his operator id details from the work party and you can route it to the based on that okay if no if that work party doesn't exist okay approver work party doesn't exist then you can go to the work queue so in this way you can achieve it okay so if you see that it's a very simple one only but where the people lacks is that they'll not say anything related to the changes they'll simply say that okay i'll route it back okay or they'll not explain that how you'll hold the property of the persons who is rejecting it because here we need to make sure that when we are rejecting it okay second time it should go back to the same person and we should not also create a kind of a custom attribute to hold the details okay because if you hold the details then you have to again you can say that you need to reset that as well okay so that will and, and let's say like again you are going for level two level three okay approvers if you want so how the work party can help here is that let's say if you're going for level two approval as well okay and if it's there in the work queue only and you don't want that same persons to approve it okay so then you can check that that person whoever is already there so the current operator okay who is doing the get next work his id should not be present in that list of the work parties if it's present then you can click exclude from the get next work so that's where you can achieve it so this is what i wanted to discuss in this video please do watch and, and let me know if this is helping you to kind of handle your exceptions close okay basically the rejection scenarios okay and and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section so i can help with that thank you have a good day